Hello everyone, in this lecture I will discuss partitioning of matrices. Well, uh, the motivation behind partitioning of matrices is that that uh, if you are given a matrix which is itself a 10,000 by 10,000 matrix and uh, now again, you are also given another matrix which is also of 10,000 by 10,000 and then you are asked to compute the product A, B and uh, compute the sum of these two matrices and you can imagine that how complex that would be if you are performing that manually. Now imagine that if computers are doing the same thing then also for them the re memory requirements would be very high and secondly they will take a lot of time in computing if the processor is slow. So the motivation uh, behind partitioning is that that uh, it will reduce the memory requirements as well as it will speed up the computation process. Now a matrix can be partitioned in a number of ways and uh, one of the ways in which this A matrix is partitioned as you can see over here that originally this matrix is a 3 cross 3 matrix but uh, I have partitioned it into such a way that uh, now the new matrix would be a 2 by 2 matrix a 2 cross 2 matrix where as you can see that P is equal to minus 1 1 this part Q is a 2 cross 2 matrix which is 0 2 3 4 R is this one single element minus 2 and s is 5 minus 3 sorry uh, here the minus sign is not showing over here you will place over here and let's draw it over here okay I'm showing addition of uh, two matrices originally matrix A was given to us that was uh, too big likewise matrix B was also uh, a big one so we decided to make sub matrices of each matrix A and B and uh, this resulted in, into L, M, N, O, P, Q which are sub matrices for uh, matrix A and uh, partitioning of matrix B resulted into six sub matrices R, S, T, U, V, W. Now always remember that uh, the rules that uh, we have studied for addition of matrices same rules will be applied over here that uh, like you can see that uh, we will add component by component like I will add L with R M with S N with T and likewise for the uh, rules that are below now uh, you have to remember this thing that uh, the rule for addition is that the two matrices should be of the same size if you want to add them. So same rule will be applied over here. In the next example you can see this. Now suppose that this one is our matrix A and this is our matrix B. Now as uh, I told you earlier that uh, it depends upon us that how we are interested in partitioning the original matrix. Now what I have done over here that uh, I divided this matrix A into three sub matrices. So now I have L which is a 2 cross 2 sub matrix, M also a 2 cross 2 and N also a 2 cross 2 matrix. Uh, I uh, did the same thing with uh, this matrix B and now as I said earlier that uh, you will do addition the same way you do, uh, you have done it earlier. So now when I have to add L with O, that is I have to do L plus O, I will add the components, each component uh, column by column, like uh, 1 with 11, 2 with 12, 7 with 17 and 8 with 18. And this will result into this matrix. Now I will do the same thing with M and P. I will add M and P and get some result. Uh, which will basically 16, 18, 28, 30 and then I will add N with Q and I will get a 2 cross 2 matrix 
Afterwards, when I have computed all the three submatrices like L with O, M with P and with Q, what I will do in the end, I will join all of them. So all the answers that were computed individually, now they will be added and I will get a composite answer like this. So this showed us uh, the answer for L plus O. This is showing us the answer for M plus P. And this part is showing us the answer for N plus Q. Now let's see that uh, what is the multiplication rule because now uh, onwards we will see that how we can perform multiplication if the two matrices are partitioned. So over here we have uh, the multiplication rule that if A is a matrix uh, which we represent by M cross R where M represents the number of rows present in A and R represents the number of columns present in A. Now to take a product of two matrices it is very important that their insides match that is the number of columns of matrix A should match with the number of rows present in B. And secondly, the product that will uh, that I will get after uh, multiplying the matrix A and B should be of the size M cross N. So as I have discussed earlier that the rules that have, we have studied earlier will be applied over here as well. So now I will discuss an example. So now let's come to an example where I will uh, discuss multiplication of the partition matrices. This is the question given to us where two matrices A and B are given to us and uh, they have asked us that find uh, all the partitions of A that can be used to calculate AB where the partition of B is as follows. So what they have done basically that they have uh, partitioned it and now we have to decide that uh, what are the different ways in which we can partition this A so that um, we can take the product of A and B because as we have uh, seen earlier that we have to follow the multiplication rule which says that says that the number of columns present in A should be equal to the number of rows present in B. So uh, we will keep uh, that rule in mind. Now I will try to partition A and we'll see that what variations we can bring in it. Here you can see the partition of B that was given to us was like this. What I have done is that I have uh, given it uh, some characters like minus 1, 3 matrix is now denoted by L. This 2 cross 2 matrix is denoted by M. This 2 by uh, 2 cross 1 matrix is uh, denoted by N. And the last 2 cross 2 matrix is shown with O. Will be represent it will be represented with O. And uh, all of these are represented over here. So now I have to make decision regarding A. Now, here is uh, the A matrix. Now, as you can see, the new B matrix is basically a 2 cross 2 matrix. As you can see over here, 2 rows and 2 columns. Okay, You will just focus on this new matrix and you will not uh, think about the previous matrix which uh, comprises of all these numbers because that was a 4 cross 3 matrix. Now we will discuss uh, about this new matrix which is basically a 2 cross 2 matrix. So now uh, if I have to make decision regarding the A matrix, regarding the partitioning of matrix A, so one thing that I should keep it in mind is that uh, the number of columns of A matches with the number of rows in B. Okay. So uh, I cannot make any compromise over here. This should be fixed, that is 2, because in matrix B, uh, I have uh, 2 rows. Okay. So uh, here I, I have highlighted uh, this 2, but you should keep in mind that we are basically focusing on the number of 
rows in B. So the number of rows in B should be equal to the number of columns in A. So now what are the choices left for us? We can make uh, variations in the number of rows of A. Number of rows in A can be 1, it can be 2, it can be 3. But uh, as you can see that originally uh, it has 3 rows so we cannot exceed from 3. So I can have these variations 1 cross 2, 2 cross 2, 3 cross 2. So let's first discuss this variation 1 cross 2 for that what I will do. Okay, So I will partition it from uh, here. So I have made this uh, partition and uh, now I am representing this matrix as E like this and this matrix as F. So now I have this matrix A is equal to E F. So if you have to represent its size, it's a 1 cross 2 matrix because it has 1 row and 2 columns. Now let's discuss the second variation which was uh, 2 cross 2 matrix. For that, I can either place this line over here or I can place it over here as shown over here. Okay. Now uh, the columns as uh, I said earlier that uh, I cannot make any changes to columns. The columns line will be drawn over here. Likewise I have drawn over here. But what I can uh, do I can either for rows I can either uh, draw the line over here or make it over here. Now I am just focusing on this one. Let's say um, this 2, uh, 0 now will be represented with matrix uh, with this letter L. Uh, L matrix, uh, L sub matrix represents 2 and 0. M represents 3 minus 1. N is representing 6, 1, 2, 1 and O is representing minus 5, 9, 1, 1. Now if you write these letters uh, in place of these numbers in A matrix, you can see that it's a 2 cross 2 matrix. So now coming to another variation which was basically 3 cross 2. 3 cross 2 means that uh, again you have to draw the column line over here because you require two columns. What this 3 means that uh, now I will draw two lines like this and this. In this way what I will get? I will get matrix L which is representing 2, 0, write it over here. 6, 2 is represented with N, write it over here. I am just writing the letters which are representing the submatrices. This double one is represented with uh, P, 3 minus 1 with M, minus 5, 9 with O, and Q with uh, 1, 1 with Q. So in this way, if you have to write the size of this matrix, it's a 3 cross 2 matrix, the one that we wanted. So uh, we can take the product of A and B with uh, any of these variations of A. Making use of uh, the first variation that I uh, created that was uh, A is equal to EF, that is 1 cross 2 matrix. And uh, the matrix that was given to me was B, LMNO which is a 2 cross 2 matrix. Now as you can see the inner ones that is the rows of uh, sorry the columns of A are equal to the rows of B. So this is same and if I take the product of these two matrices I should get a matrix which is of size 1 cross 2. Now let's uh, do uh, multiplication the way we always do. First of all as you can see that uh, I need to multiply E with L and F with N and then add the two. Here I have done that. Next thing is to multiply E with M and F with O and then add them. Done. Now as you can see that what we will get in EL. Well uh, E was originally 206211. This you can see over here. This was E where we have 206211 and uh, 
uh, just look at at f as well which is 3 minus 1 minus 5 9 1 1 because this we will require next so uh, here is f here is e and now I need to multiply this with l which is minus 1 3 n is 5 and 4 now taking the product of these two I will get these answers and now what I'm getting is that I will substitute these answers over here e l plus f n results it into minus 2 plus 11 0 plus 11 and 9 plus 2 as you can see over here m plus f o so uh, the way we did uh, earlier I will compute uh, em plus fo in the same way and uh, I will get this answer now uh, what I will do is I will add them el plus fn the result is given over here now I just add em plus fo and I will get this result Afterwards, as I said earlier, that what I will do is I will substitute uh, these results into the main matrix and I will get this answer. You will get the same answer if you do not partition it and just uh, do the normal multiplication with matrix A and B. So I hope this lecture is clear. If you have any questions, you can post it over here. Thank you.